Hi, I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies and today I want to talk about the 2018 National Indoor Championships. So in 2018 the National Indoor Championships in Australia is conducted across a whole bunch of different clubs and different venues across Australia. So in this state, South Australia, we shot in three venues, Ingle Farm, Port Elliot and um, Blue Lake, um, Mount Gambier. So three venues in South Australia, um, they shoot on different days, Saturday and Sunday, and different spots. So I myself shot compound and recurve in the event. Now just when I'm shooting this event, I want to talk a bit about it and the people who shoot there. Now generally people don't shoot a nationals unless they think they can win or do well in state or in the national scheme. It's just the way archers are, I don't know why that is, but it is the way it is. It's not like running where, you know, if there's a marathon and there's some Ethiopians running at the front and you're a little white guy and you've got no chance of running, you don't run. Here, here when we run marathons and all that, everyone gets in and get, has a go. With archery, it's not the case and I'm not sure why that is and I just want to talk about that a little bit. So when I was shooting in the, in the event, I get this photograph sent through to me of when I shot the Nationals in... 2004 now I didn't know that photo was taken and then I asked the person who sent me the photo who was a member of my club at the time and a junior I said have you got any other photos because I didn't know the photo was taken and here's some other photos that he sent now in these photos there's a old guy in the on the left hand side whose name's Wolf now he's he may be dead and no disrespect to him if he is or isn't now I got on really well with Wolf and he actually got banned from my club for whatever reason, not when I was president, but a president later. Now I got on really well with him. Um, but what's good about this, and the next photos are of some of the juniors who shot in the club. What's really good about this is this is these are all people I shot with literally every day and we went out there and we shot and we went to a venue and it's a day like 20 plus years ago you can still remember today and I said to the person who took the photo I said can you remember and he said yeah I remember even the car you were driving you were driving a VH Commodore which was green and I was which I find astounding that you can remember a day 24 years ago like think about that how many days can you remember from 24 years ago so I don't think competing in the nationals is so much about winning as opposed to giving it a go and having a try and putting in the effort now getting to this year's nationals in 2018, so I shot in Port Elliot, which is where I've shot the past two nationals in, compound and recurve both times. Um, and just on that, most of the people you see there every year are the same people. So this year there's probably five new people. So let's say there's 55 people competing, there's probably five new faces and probably almost four who have dropped out. But it's a very friendly environment. Everyone tends to know everyone, everyone, even though they come from clubs all around the state, just because they've seen their face across other other venues. Now, what's really good about shooting an indoor national championship or a state championship is you get to shoot with really good archers all around you, and it tests you. So, for me going to that venue, I thought I was going to shoot really well, and what it does, it tests me to see how my training's gone, and how I've progressed, and all the rest of it and what I need to pick up and how I'm sort of sitting on engage how I'm actually going because I do most of my shooting at home so I'm going to talk about rocking up there so the week before the nationals I didn't get to shoot much because I was really busy in the business and I had some other stuff going on so I didn't get to shoot much so I rock up to the venue and I felt pretty good because I've been shooting really well with the compound and the comp with the recurve and the compound I thought I was going to shoot pretty well with Anyway, so I get back from the event and the first thing is I get an email from one of my viewers saying, oh, you shot pretty bad at the National. I was like, what are you talking about? I thought I shot pretty good. So, so it's all about perspective. Um, I don't mean to embarrass the person who said it, but it's like, so my scores um, on the days. Now, I don't even think the scores are a big deal. Um, I think it's more about what you take of it. I actually enjoy shooting the whole event. I, like, I enjoy watching other people shoot. The highs and the lows of the event, you get, people, you get to watch people shoot personal guests, best. You get to see people who are having a really bad time and I'm just picking one of the actual shooters I sponsor. So he started off with a miss. So he's a guy who shoots amazingly high scores and he missed the target. Um, I think he flinched or something. 
um, and he was having a rough time. He changed release age and he came back and shot really, really well. Where he could have given up. So it's that whole thing of shooting nationals where you go, it's actually really good to watch um, people, how they cope and how they're feeling about the whole event. It's, it's quite emotional and everyone's feeling either uptight, tense, happy, sad. So for me, it's a whole mixed thing of emotions. I find it quite relaxing because I don't have to think about the business. I don't have to think about anything. I just have to shoot some arrows and watch people shoot arrows. So to me, it's really, really simple. So this year in the Nationals, these are my targets. I'm going to start with compound. This is my compound target. So I shot 292 out of 300 and a 297 out of 300 for the Vegas face. And this is my target face here. So that's one target. Now I was shooting skinny arrows and you're going to say, why'd you shoot skinny arrows? So I shot no reds. Now I'm pretty happy with that. Um, and yeah, I've shot better. Um, so on that top target there, you can see I shot four, four, four nines. The rest were tens. Now that includes practice as well, bottom target. So I shoot them in order. I've literally got two nines and the rest were tens. And the last target, so you can see how it gradually get worse. The last target I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got eight nines on the last target. So two on my first and nine on my last. So a couple of things, why am I shooting skinnies, not fats? I just didn't have time to get the fats to work. So, and we had people comparing fats to skinnies and we really couldn't pick a lot of difference. So I thought, well, I'll just shoot skinnies and see if I can put them in the middle. So what's clear to me about this target is I shoot my best arrow first. And then as the shoot, as the shoot, as the arrows go on, I get under more pressure and I do, I get under more pressure with the timer going. Um, worried if I'm going to get the last arrow off in time. So my last target is never as good as my first. So that's something I need to practice on with a timer. But overall, I'm pretty happy with 292, 297, under the pressure, under the noise and all that. Now this is the feet around where you have the little X target to hit. So this is my first target. So I shot 14 X's and a 15 X. Second target, you can see the second target is a lot worse than the first. And the third target, you can see the third target is even worse again. So that whole, that whole scenario about my first target being the best, clearly the case. So there's something for me to work on. So I need some sort of time or some sort of thing to push me on my last arrow. Now, my recurve scoring. Now my recurve was a huge disappointment to me. So the first time I shot the Nationals, I shot 278, roughly. And that got me second in the state by one point. The next time I shot the Nationals, Got me, I got second in the state with around a 270. Now this year I was expecting to shoot around 285 and place up right in the top with the top shooters in Australia with thing and I was expecting to win the state. Well, I was wrong. I was wrong by a long way. This is my target face. Now I've got lots of targets, lots of arrows in the middle, but what I've got here is a lot of outliers. You can see here a little black. I think I even missed the target on one shot. So I did lots of good arrows, but I did some bad ones. I kind of averaged around a 250 to a 260. So every year I'm getting worse. Now you might go, well, why are you getting worse? Now part of it can be I'm not practicing as much as I did in the previous year. In the previous year I was shooting about four hours a day. Um, this year I wasn't. I was still shooting, but not four hours a day. Um, in previous years I was shooting with other people in, in my indoor range. So it was noise and all that sort of stuff. So I was clearly under more pressure than um, I am at the moment. I'm, I've been shooting inside my house um, where it's quiet. So I rock up to the Nationals and the noise, I could barely hear my clicker going. So the whole time I'm thinking, was that my clicker? Was that my clicker when I'm shooting? And it had a huge impact on me psychologically because I didn't know when when to shoot and when not to shoot. So I get back from the Nationals after shooting quite poorly. I think I shot 260 and a 240, which is 240 is my lowest ever score. And I came back and I was exhausted and I sat here and I shot at night time. Um, my muscles were stuffed and I sat here and I shot until I felt comfortable. I went back the next day and I shot 258 and another 258. Um, still not good for me. They're better, more respectable than the first arrow. I had some good arrows and some bad arrows. 
Now my point on that, I was struggling to hear the clicker. So today, it's actually a nice day, it's not at the moment, but it was, it was a nice day when I was practicing. I stood in my pool shed, pool shed where my filter goes, and I had my filter going, and I had a computer on full bore to simulate the sounds, to dole out the sound of my clicker. Now this is the target I just shot here. Now my scores here, I shot a 270, um, kind of down on what I normally shoot, but better than the Nationals. But the sound, I'm going to say, not as severe as the Nationals. So I really struggled. And you can see the target, not that impressive. Um, there and there. So not that impressive. So I'm continuing shooting. This is my second lot of thing here. At the halfway point, just there, I turned off the filter. So just there, when I shoot 29, 29, 29, 30, 30, I turn off the filter. So I turned off all the noise, so I can actually hear. So I finished with a 29, 29, 30, 30. Now if I can shoot that, I'd win the Nationals. I would beat the Olympians. So what does that tell me? It tells me I've got to do something about the clicker. I was, I was raising my shoulder here, so I've got to practice more with timing. I've got to practice more with noise. Um, and not shoot when it's silent and I've got to do something to make my clicker noisier so that's where I'm at right now um, so all up that's the nationals but from it I suppose what I'm what I'm here to talk about is what you take from it from an archer's perspective yourself you say what are things I can improve for next time when I shoot this in the following year and to enjoy it and relax through the shoot. Because if you don't relax through the shoot, you're going to be shaking, you're going to shoot personal worse. You need to be relaxed and focused. So what I took from that, and this is my thing for next year, for 2019, I'm going to get the clicker fixed, so that it's actually noisier. And on the compound, I'm actually going to shoot 50 pounds, and I'm going to get some fat shafts to work. So I'm going to set up a completely different bow. I'm going to shoot 27s, so the really fat arrows. So let's go back to this target. So this is the Vegas target here. Now clearly these would not be a perfect score with 27 shafts. But that clearly wouldn't be. That clearly wouldn't be. That wouldn't be and that wouldn't be. Maybe that. But there's some practice ends in there. So there's maybe four arrows which are not going to break the 10 line. So I'm going to be four down on a perfect 600. So five, nine, six. I should end up with a... I was three points off and eight points off. So I was 11 points off. So an extra five points out of things. So about two points per Australian round based on the way I shoot. So it's not a big difference between fats and skinnies. And for me, the practice is important. I need to practice. So if I shoot fat arrows, I need to shoot one arrow per target. But what's really critical for me is getting some sort of timing system working so my third arrow is as good as my first arrow. And I haven't quite worked out how to do that yet, but I will work that out, how to set up some sort of timing system for myself to put myself under pressure. And maybe what I'll do is I'll set up a timing system which will go off, so I'll give myself 20 seconds to shoot a shot. I'll press a button and it'll go beep. Um, so I'll be putting myself under constant pressure to shoot that shot under time so I get used to it. So that's what I'm going to take with that. Now that wasn't the case with the recurve. The recurve, I don't think I'm much worse with the first shot to the last shot. I find I'm pretty consistent. It's just getting that clicker to come through smooth and get everything flowing correctly. So, so for me with recurve, it's build up strength, build up cardio. With compound, fat arrows and get some sort of timing system going so I'm not panicking on that last shot um, for the timing sort of system. So the only other thing I'm going to mention is release aids in this. Um, I did experiment with back tension and thumb releases um, leading up to the Nationals. Now I was shooting really well with the thumb release aid leading up to the Nationals and then I started to punch it. So I decided to shoot back tension for the Nationals because I started to punch my thumb release so when I say punch it doing that sort of thing but I was shooting incredibly well I mean I was shooting spiders after spiders the little dot in the center 
but then I started punching it and so I went I'll just shoot back tension so I did do a bit of practice with that before I went and I was happy enough with it so I ended up happy enough with my score overall but the whole purpose of this video is when you shoot a nationals just get in there and enjoy it and go well this is the range I want to shoot between and hope you shoot it towards your upper if you don't take something from that and go well next time I'm going to be more prepared than I was last time touch wood but enjoy the experience because it's something you are going to remember 24 years down the track so I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies the more you shoot the better you'll shoot and enjoy the whole process of it if you don't you're going to be beating yourself up and not enjoying it and you're just going to end up giving up the sport thank you and enjoy. Bye.